Hey everyone, thanks for watching How To. I'm Austin with Marathon Industries. Today we're gonna to be learning how to change out the tire portion of a pneumatic air-filled wheelbarrow tire. All right, let's make sure we have all the tools we need. We need a long flathead screwdriver and a tire pump. Now, first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is make sure we get the valve stem back inside the tire. So we're gonna push that through. All right, now we're gonna take our long flathead screwdriver we're going to get in just inside the tire and pop it up so it's just right over the rim. And then we're going to use the hub to kind of turn the screwdriver. So just like that, pops it right off of the rim. Then we're going to turn it upside down. And you should be able to, once you get part of the tire over the rim, you should be able to just pull it right out, nice and easy. Now that that's off, get rid of your old tire, go get a new tire. All right, so now we got a new tire. Now there's a few things you wanna keep in mind when you're putting it back on. You wanna make sure the valve stem is coming up on the same side as the valve stem opening on the rim. So to make sure we do that, we're gonna put that down. We're gonna put the valve stem down. And we're gonna put the valve stem opening down and we're just gonna pop this back on and push it down and then use your screwdriver. Now you always wanna make sure you're wearing safety gloves and safety goggles when you're working with this stuff. You can easily get pinched, sometimes even worse. Just make sure you keep it safe, all right? There we go. So we have it. One side is back on the rim and when you flip it around, you can see we have the valve stem, the valve stem opening there. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is get your, make sure that the, the inner tube is back inside the rim. Put your valve stem up through the opening and now it's on there in the right position. So then what you need to do is just press your tire down back over your rim. Should go pretty easily. Sometimes you'll need to use your screwdriver to pry it back on. All right, so there we have it. Our new tire is on the rim. And all you need to do is hook up your pump, give it a few pumps, and you should be good to go. Thanks for watching today.